Hello boys and girls, part 5 is here and it's the final video of the series only the supercharger now there's plenty more of other installs like outer fenders, inner fenders bumpers, lights, auxiliary switches what else is slide steps or step tubes, whatever and I'm sure I'm forgetting something that's why I wasn't able to drive the Jeep because as I was the supercharger I started installing kind of in between the other stuff but you will see the Jeep run it's still going to be without wheels and all the important stuff but once I got it all done I actually did drive it a few feet and because I did oh yeah lift kit uh, springs, uh, sway bar links, uh, I think it was a three or three and a half inch lift kit, new shocks, see there, there's prob probably still even more, I'm forgetting. Anyways, because of the lift kit, the steering wheel was way off and the traction control was kicking in and I didn't want to drive it with the traction control uh, light being on, you know, too much. So you're only going to see the Jeep run for a little bit. Then once it's back, from the alignment shop and it's actually going out to get linexed. Yes, the fender, basically the whole outside is getting linexed. I don't even know how the color is going to come out, but I'm not even going to mention the color, but it's going to look nice. All right, enough yapping. So you know what to do. Subscribe, like, comment, especially if this is helping you out. You know, subscribing, liking my videos helps me. You know, it motivates me to do these kind of videos to continue on. All right, enjoy. Alternator time. Look, step 221 out of 245, getting closer. Okay, before I mess with the alternator bracket and all that, I'm gonna take the belt out, the old belt that is. Quite the difference. Okay, belt is somewhat installed. There's another pulley on the alternator bracket. This belt is already tight. I'm gonna take it off the supercharger. So that's a top one is 16. Torque on these is Guten Titan. Okay, look how tight the belt is. The tensioner is out at its max, but I have an idea. I'm gonna remove this upper pulley. Just like that. Before you push the alternator, alternator all the way in, just install this bolt before. <clears throat> now 
now we can torque down the supercharger pulley bolts to 8.9 I'm going to do a quick visual on the belt. There, there, there is the most amount of pulleys I've seen so far. One, two, three, four, five, six. Still four without the supercharger. One being the tensioner. Okay, so three idlers. Usually it's one or two. Well, this looks like it goes there, and they had me route it over here this way. Ah, oh, I mean, really? Okay, just a bit more slack. Wish this was long enough to go around the back, but that's not, not gonna happen. How am I gonna route this? Okay, if I go here, then where am I gonna mount it to? Here? Suppose I could go like that. Okay, next I'm gonna take care of this a bit later next is the air pump the true air pump almost forgot about this back to the air pump connect the air pump where was the plot here Here you are. Look how long this is. Okay, maybe I can go this way. Is it gonna be long enough? Up and here. I am gonna be installing a snorkel system intake so I will be removing this once I get this situation under control all right time for the front mount cooler it's gonna go like this one hose here which I can attach now
Now what I don't like about this is how the bottom moves quite a bit and it only attaches on bolts on top so we're gonna fix that first we need to attach this hose on the bottom and we need to cut it because this is just way too long okay so I'm gonna actually make it as short as possible so it stays away from the steering components here so something like this so right there Okay, so this has been cut. So I put tape over on the the mesh hose protector thing. And yes, I am going over this. Actually, let me try this. Yeah, see, it's gonna rest against the sharp radiator, so stay away from that. That may not not work actually. I am have to, yeah. I'm just gonna zip tie it away from the radiator. Well, what am I going? Couldn't they make it on the side here somewhere? You know, with a 90 degree angle. Okay, so I took the top holes off. Okay, I should be okay to put it back on, the top one. Okay, after a short battle with the clamp, I'm able to tighten it. Okay, now coming back to these. What I'm gonna do is shove this hose, cut hose, right here two pieces like that I'm gonna use these pliers to simply squeeze the bracket on these And that's it. That's all I can really do until I get the ECM and this uh, fitting here. As you can see, I installed a headlight. Very simple. I got this one to go. Three bolts, 10 mils, comes out, unplug it, plug in the new one, pop it in, that's it. Okay, these can go back in. Looks like I might have to cut this because of the new holes. Looks like I won't be cutting this at all. Got the piece I've been waiting on for four days. Oil it up a bit. So this is the Bundy side. That will snap in. This is the ribbed side. I'm gonna have to cut the holes right about here. Should probably invest in a Hose cutting tool. No need for a clamp over here. This is not coming out. If I wanted to take this out now, I would have to cut the hose open. All right, this part done. Still waiting on this original Mopar coolant from the dealer. Pink. I have no idea how much it takes. That's it, about half. I'm sure it's gonna come down quite a bit once I start it. Okay, guys, first start. Go! Come on! <laughs> okay, no, we got no key. Ah, oh, where's the key? No? <laughs> no? No key? Okay, we had a dead battery. Go! No! Oh. Still low. God damn it. Okay, we'll be right back.
All right, had a hiccup yesterday evening. It was late. Battery was dead, but now it's it's been charging. It's not fully charged, but let's try it anyways. check for leaks okay what I'm gonna do at this point I'm gonna check for leaks fill up the coolant for the supercharger I'm sure it uh, the level went down this was the first start after all uh, no check engine lights the battery was disconnected for you know days but or actually what was it 12 hours or so but uh, no immediate you know no hard uh, codes is what I meant so looking good so far. So I'm gonna again check for leaks, refill that reservoir and started it for a little bit longer. Okay, so it's been running for 30 minutes now. These hoses are warm, but the radiator is cold. This is also cold, I don't feel the pump running. As you can see it's up to its temperature. Let's see how it sounds. Don't really hear the whine from the super uh, from the supercharger, but no leaks whatsoever. 